Hi friends! Today we are going to learn how to calculate elapsed time. Have you ever wondered how long something took? Maybe a movie, a trip, or how much time passed between lunch and dinner? That's where elapsed time comes in. Elapsed time is just the amount of time that passes between a start time and an end time. We'll use a number line to help us keep track of how much time has elapsed for each problem. This method makes it super easy to see how time moves forward. Let's jump into some examples so you can see how it works. Let's say you start playing a video game at 2 p.m. and stop at 5 p.m. How much time has passed? Draw a number line and mark the starting time on the left as 2 p.m. Mark the ending time 5 p.m. Now, use arrows to count forward by hours. We'll go from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock. That's one hour. Make sure you write one hour above it to keep track with each arrow. Then go from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. And then 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Don't forget to include a.m. and p.m. with each time. Now we just add up the hours. So the answer here is three hours. Now let's try one with hours and minutes. Suppose you go to a movie and it starts at 6.40 p.m. and it ends at 8.10 p.m. How long is the movie? Draw a number line with 6.40 p.m. on the left and 8.10 p.m. on the right. Now, the first thing you wanna do is make this time easier to count by counting up to the next closest hour. Since the minutes end in a zero, we can count by tens to get to the next hour. So let's jump from 6.40 to 6.50. That's 10 minutes. Then let's jump again by 10 minutes from 6.50 to seven o'clock. Now that we've made it to the nearest hour, we can easily add another whole hour, which will bring us to eight o'clock. We are close to the end of the movie. Now, we just jump from eight o'clock to 8.10, which is 10 minutes. Now, all we have to do is add up our times. Let's count our minutes first. 10 plus 10 plus 10. If we add those up, it gives us 30 minutes. We only have one hour, so let's add that to the minutes and we get our answer. The movie is one hour and 30 minutes long. Okay, let's make this a little harder. You're going on a trip out of the country with your family. The flight leaves at 10.23 a.m. and it arrives at your destination at 4.07 p.m. Get some paper and do this with me. Draw your number line and put your start time, 10.23 a.m. and then your end time, 4.07 p.m. Now let's start jumping forward in time. Now I wanna get these minutes to a nice even number so it's easier to count. So I'm going to jump from 10.23 to 10.30 to start off. How many minutes is it when you go from 10.23 to 10.30? There are seven minutes. Now I wanna get to the next closest whole hour. You can count by tens if that's easier. I know that because our time is 10.30, in 30 minutes it will be the next closest hour, which is 11 o'clock. So I'll write 30 minutes up top. Now we can just count by whole hours until we get to the hour where our plane arrives, which is four o'clock. 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Our plane arrives in the four o'clock hour, so we stop there and go back to adding minutes. Because the end time is 4.07, we know that there are seven more minutes after four o'clock before the plane arrives so we can add seven minutes here. Now, just add up the hours and minutes. Let's start with the minutes, seven plus 30 plus seven. What do you get when you add those up? We have 44 minutes. Great, now let's count up the hours. How many did you get? There are five hours. So if we add the hours and minutes together, it gives us our answer. This flight is five hours and 44 minutes long. Let's do one more together and then I'll have you practice on your own. You're going to a birthday party. The party starts at 3.15 p.m. and lasts until 6.45 p.m. Draw your number line and add your start and end times. Next, count up the minutes until you get to the next closest whole hour. I'll take 3.15 and add five minutes, which takes me to 3.20. Next, I'll count by tens until I get to four o'clock. Now, count up by one hour until you get to the hour of your end time. In this case, six o'clock. 
Now, let's add the remaining minutes. Okay, now add up your time. When you add them all up, you get a total of 90 minutes. If you add the hours, you get two hours. But we wouldn't say two hours and 90 minutes. There is a rule in telling time that your minutes should always be less than an hour. Do you know how many minutes are in an hour? There are 60 minutes in an hour, so your minutes should always be less than 60. If they are over 60, then you need to convert minutes to hours. The easiest way to do that is to take your number of minutes, in this case, 90, and subtract 60 minutes from it. That leaves us with 30 minutes. Now, take the 60 minutes, which remember is the same as one hour, and add that to the hours in our answer. So we go from two hours to three hours. Now you can add the remaining minutes and that gives us the final answer. Three hours and 30 minutes. Now it's your turn. Do this next question on your own. Pause the video and work through the problem, then play it again to check your answer. Ready? A bus leaves at 9.45 a.m. and arrives at 12.18 p.m. How long was the bus ride? Go ahead and pause the video until you are ready for the answer. All right, let's break it down. From 9.45 to 10 a.m. is 15 minutes. From 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. is two hours. And then another 18 minutes takes us to the time the bus arrives. If we add those times up, we get two hours and 33 minutes. Did you get the same answer? Calculating elapsed time takes some practice, so keep working through these kinds of problems until you feel comfortable with it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome math lessons. See you next time on Learn This.